Are there any sounds that are not good for you? Or oh, that's interesting. Like, yeah, do you, do you know anything about that? So there's a nefarious way of using sound, right? Um, so like the United States government uses music torture. Um, wow. Prisoners of war, they'll put them up they'll make them listen to like heavy metal <gasps> and, see. and noises like that yeah. um, to torture them. Mm -hmm. And I think that's horrific, mm -hmm. but it really works. It breaks the will of prisoners. Wow. And they like... Because it's like taking away your peace. Yeah. It's like chaos. Exactly. It's, it's also nonstop. think about these cultures. They're mm -hmm. coming from a place that they don't know mm -hmm. heavy metal and they're being mm -hmm. subjected to it. They think it's like the devil, you oh, know? I it's see. terrifying to them. Yeah. So music can be used in a negative way for sure. Music yeah. has also been used to... On a very like conspiracy theory note, <laughs> yeah. has been used to program masses and yeah. to lower frequency. Yes. There's also um, something really interesting that I've recently learned of. So I use drums and rattles a lot in mm -hmm. my ceremonies when we do breath work. And the sound of a rattle and the sound of drums is very different than when you're listening to a calming sound bath mm -hmm. or classical music, something that really calms you down. So how do drums and rattles work in um, self-healing, right? I always wondered about that. Like I thought maybe it's the rhythmic drumming getting you deeper into a trance. But what I learned recently is that what it does is it actually disrupts thought forms. Okay. So let's say we're trying to work through some disease or some sort of negative belief or something. When you start to rattle or drum, it's using like a negative or a music that doesn't sound as beautiful to disrupt a thought form. I see. So it can be used um, yeah. to feed us, to nourish us, uh -huh. and also to create chaos and to destroy oh, illusions. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because when you're like listening to a drum beat, it's mm -hmm. your mind goes to that. You right, can't right. focus on, on your anything thoughts. else. I right, see. exactly. And it just kind of breaks apart those thoughts. Uh huh. It's really interesting. Okay. I see. Yeah, I think there's so much power and there's something special about sound mm -hmm. and music absolutely yeah i think that our souls can't resist i think um teal swan said this mm -hmm. one time and it stuck with me our souls can't resist music yeah it's and universal really, it's totally mm -hmm. universal right there's the whole concept of um mm -hmm. being the one universal sound which all other sounds are encompassed within um mm -hmm. right and when we chant that it's the universal noise mm -hmm. uh and there's also channelers who say like sound exists in the seventh dimension. Like the seventh dimension is sound. Yeah. Um, it, I have seen recently, I think that I've talked to you about this before, how I work with different energies like Venus and things like that, mm -hmm. right? Like spheres of consciousness. I've recently noticed that sound in itself is a sphere of consciousness and sound picks certain people to work with them. Mm. So a lot of people who are beautiful singers, yeah. they're, they're healers. Yeah, and, yeah, exactly. Musicians, anything like that. Yeah. It's like if you're called, now I'm not musically talented. <laughs> I wish I was. My yeah. brother is like so gifted mm -hmm. he can pick up any instrument and he knows how to play it but I've had this interest in music and instruments yeah. musical instruments my entire life I always just get random ones I have this piano here you can see I <laughs> yeah, don't know how to play it it's okay <laughs> but it's like you feel called to it so I think that yeah. people who feel called to music in whatever way even if we're not so good for it good with it mm -hmm. we're being called to be yeah. sound healers mm -hmm. another thing that comes to my mind is like I think the the act of like singing or like mm -hmm. making sounds with your voice is very healing as well. Yes. I think not enough people realize that and do that. I mean, I'm a singer, so I know the release I get yeah. from singing, but I think a lot of people who never sing or who never use their voice in that way don't realize how healing it is. Mm -hmm. Like if you go to a concert, everyone's singing at the top of their lungs. That's very healing. They're like to do that together. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. And it's not only therapeutic, it's also like a, a method of manifestation too. Mm. When people are when monks are are chanting yeah, mantras yeah that's using the voice with intention to yes. bring something in